Okay, let's do some Crowdies. Now my computer's a bit grumpy with this fan. I think I've got too many tabs open. Well, I always do. I don't know. Maybe it's just too hot. It's going to do annoying things with the fan, but. Look at this guy. Now nah, he's got like ballerina feet. Um, that those are the widest feet I've seen. I'm not going to do his feet because I think his feet. He's either doing that because he's mucking around, or he's like an evolutionary step towards some kind of tightrope walking hominid. But uh, I'm gonna do his little, I'm gonna do this view, three quarter back view. Um, yeah, so we've done some animals lately and that's been, what's it been? I don't know. I wouldn't say futile, I wouldn't say quite happy with the materials I had there but um, in theory those those uh, in theory the more bridge things are good because you're getting like you know getting the sorry I just had to concentrate so I didn't fuck that up too much um, <laughs> you're getting the, what's it called, sequence, animate, um, Jesus Christ, try to learn to speak, what, what am I talking about? You're getting the motion, yeah, motion, so, like, um, it, so, you know, it sounds like, wow, I'm gonna get the animation the motion sequence and all it's gonna be great but then what happens is you you go to to the pictures and they're um, sort of obscured and, and they're not that clear and some of the poses are kind of weird and you're like yeah I don't know I don't sure I got too much out of that and it's still good but So here we have an issue with like, you know, you want to construct the body, but of course the shirt is going to be sticking out of that. Um, um, there's like a difference between constructing figures and actually just drawing from what you see, like copying what you see. I don't, I just, these days I construct my figures for, um, which doesn't necessarily produce the best pictures when you're doing the stuff, but these are to produce pictures. So, um, but it's a reason I'm doing it that way because constructing drawings is how you learn to replicate stuff uh, without reference. If you want to draw from reference, then all the time, if that's what you're going to do, then you don't have to worry about it because you never have to construct anything and then you can just, you can go straight for the lines and I used to do that a lot but well, that's basically how I used to do it but um, you find out then that if you got to do stuff where you got to construct things you're going to be in trouble so I'm really interpreting these these figures and re I'm actually reconstructing them. That's what we're doing. We're reconstructing. Which is why they don't why I'm not following things exactly or I'm just building in an excuse for any fuck up drawings. 
No, actually, it's, it's true. It, I'm not actually. Uh, but with these, I'm not. Um, I'm constructing when I'm not completely. To be honest, I'm I'm doing a hybrid because I still sort of. Um, I guess I want them to look like the things. Uh, if I was doing complete construction, it would get very messy. Um, for the purposes of these presentations, I'm kind of streamlining, streamlining, <laughs> streamlining it. She's really, she wanted to, she wouldn't just hold her, her foot naturally, like, she had to curl it for me. She's like, ah, oh, I hear you're trying to, trying to construct your drawings here, hot shot. You're not just going to just copy what I'm, what I'm doing. Well, how about I turn my foot at a ridiculous angle that you can't do? Yep, you just keep doing that. You're not careful, just cut your foot off like, like this bloody ballet dancer guy. Hope it's like his feet didn't really turn out like that. It would make it difficult to be uh, efficient at doing anything involving feet. So you're a big pop, so you're a big puppy arms. Sound like, sounds like a good idea. And I was like, go wear the puppy, big puppy dress. And then years later, someone's downloaded the picture and it's causing havoc now. Yeah, how do you like, how do you like it now? Oh, listen, drawing puppy shirts, you gotta practice them. I don't know, I've never really done one like this. There we go, come on. Come on, pop. She's really, yeah, she's really, man. I don't know, is that your, is that your hand? Yeah, of course it is. What am I talking about? <laughs> of course it is. Oh, I see. Oh, Jesus. Mate. Whoa. Jesus, why did you wear the puppy shirt? God. Thanks a lot. That just devastated. That's just devastated my drawing. Yeah, that puppy shirt is. Yeah, it's just. Oh man. And then we got. Then your head's like, melting into. That's over there. So I don't know. I'm not going to spend five minutes going to puppy shirt. This is where the lesson we're down here is like um, clothes are entities, and you can't you can't know how to draw people with clothes just because you know body stuff. Clothes then become their own thing.
Who would have thought Poppy should have picked this kind of damage to my drawing? I think Poppy Shirt, we're gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to abandon you, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna move on. Because, um, oh my god, you idiot. Um. Solved it. Congratulations. Alright, so we got four short and many. We're gonna have to just go. We're gonna be on doing some gesture, I think. No gesture, not full gesture, but. Here's my computer, have a look, have a little image. Oh, whoa, what am I doing? What are you doing, man? Get out of there, dude, get out of there. What are you up to? Yeah, ridiculous, ridiculous puppy. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? What are you even what are you even thinking about? What is this? What is this bullshit? Oh, I'm going to go like a freaking Bob. Oh. I'm not sure we're gonna get out of this one alive. Let's just let's just let's just hope. Hope for the best here. Let's hope for the best. Yeah, we're gonna win. This one would have been easier to just do straight up and not try and construct it. That all probably. One. Some nasty ones tonight. That's the nature of the beast. Drawing is nasty. <laughs> this is called Let's Save by Tone. But yay. 
Yeah, some of these things are they're defined by defined by the tone. So you kind of Oh, what are you doing, man? Come on, Photoshop, don't you read my mind? Photoshop has to be reminded to read my mind. Oh, I mean, you completely missed that. <laughs> to define that line there a bit. teach you if you're a nasty pose like that. So this is a thing like I don't really want to be rendering uh, shading stuff but sometimes of course the form is really defined on some of these things by the tonal shift so if you don't do it I mean yeah it just helps if, if, you, if you do it but then if you want to go do everything I mean you're going to be get yourself into that into that mess so you know because so, now you've got like skin tone that's not white in your picture in your photo um skin tone's not white but then I've got to if it's what am I doing then if I don't if I want to do the like, see, the socks are going to mess me up now because the skin tone's not white, so I've got to have a different tone. And you get into the subtleties of it, and you're going to get, going to get into, yourself into a mess. But that's my specialty, to get myself into a mess while I'm drawing on the computer and make all kinds of noises about it. See that was pointless because his hair was already defined. His head, the planes were already defined pretty well there. I just did it because I just felt like expressing myself. And again, like I really, just, there would be some. I'm having the same problem I have with Landon's kid, where the lighting really is, isn't where I want it to define those planes. Um, Anyone else got a ridiculous pose for me? Oh, okay. Why am I just still frowning? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're running away from, from yourself here, mate. What am I on here? Yeah, that's 
that's right because you've got to remember that um, my old, old friend here our old friend Mr. Tablet also has a um, touch sensitivity so yeah it's touch sensitive which I don't know if I really like it like that aspect of it because um, I can change it can I but it all gets complicated with stuff mucking around too much there's nothing wrong with a mono line there's a similar thing against mono lines but I don't think there's anything wrong with it sometimes it looks better like I mean same thickness Man, these blondes have messed me up today. These blondes are melting your heads into every bloody thing. Can you stop melting your heads into everything? Melting your hair into everything. What the hell is your hair? Probably dumb. This was a dumb one. <laughs> top down, weird angle. Um, top down, weird angle. No real help on the planes here. With the light dress is um being is being um is obscuring. We're bringing the we're bringing the difficulties. So really, the dress it would be better if it was tucked under. If that was tucked under, so well, it's sort of defined. Wait, I'm like wearing that. It's sort of defined there. God, why do I always want the world to be perfect just, just for my goddamn ease of sketching? Yeah, you can see where you can all see where it's wrong. We can all see where it's wrong. Keep on going away. Don't like that. Just now we're just getting into straight up direct direct drawing now. This is, I can't best drop what I can't see properly. Shadow, so no real shadow on it because it's just it is making up stuff. Really, you want you want to play in there to define that. Be better if the light came like that.
That's another master one. We really want that. Maybe that should be coming over. Coming out there. Not enough information. This is very subtle. The lighting is very, very subtle. Yeah. I'm just making shit up to try and make it look better, but oh, I've got these ridiculous folds down there. God damn it. Which they, I thought they were going to help me a bit, but they didn't. not really enough see like uh, I can probably see there's not really enough shadow to define this plane this plane is just like meh yeah. can't really see what's happening here the dress is doing stuff to obscure I shouldn't have even done any tone on this um So, yeah, that was done. Oh well, it's all done. She just doesn't, these clothes just don't, they don't help, they don't help define stuff for me. And I was thinking, why the how would you draw that pose, you idiot? Of course it's going to be weird. What are you doing? That elbow will definitely do that bendy thing, out bendy thing. Not that bad, but... Not even that bad. Still slightly strange, slightly strange. Those is the that one there's that was normal. See it, then you can't see her feet. You got a shadow there. That's um subtle as well. <laughs> this, is, this is a subtle one. <laughs> no, no, no. This is not. I'm gonna absolutely, I'm gonna absolutely torch you in a minute. I'm gonna erase you on this in a minute. We're going for the bolt, we're going for that. We're going for the, what we're doing here is we're going for the long distance or this will equate to a small drawing, which often, often looks better. Small drawings because you, you just, well the lines a bit better. Uh, 
I have not given to the right one. Where are we? Must it be? Oh, I was gonna say it'd be a better show for us tonight. Too light, too much has been added up in history. Sometimes if you dress more, you can just get the main shapes better, but this one's just a very tricky. It's very tricky because you really need to know where the feet are. I think to get it onto the ground. Unless you're doing like kind of a long, like if you're doing a shot like this, and it's just like a Maybe you're doing like a little drawing of it. So it's just like very like a simplified version of it. Sticking a picture or something. Still looks weird. Still looks weird because you would have to. Um, I don't know what you have to do. It's just it just lacks. I need to have more context maybe on the ground. So people know what's actually happening with the shapes. But that's the idea, like, you know, if you just did a small thing that was part of a scene, maybe you would, it would, you'd figure out what the hell's going on. Oh, thanks for completely fucking up my drum session, that was good. That was good. raising you from my memories. Yeah, so so like a problem with this if you want if you want um like if you want like a singular line a singular line. <laughs> Basically, if you wanted, if you wanted a consistent line, these things don't don't really do it. I don't remember what they do with a certain setting. Basically, they, you know, it is touch sensitive. I guess everyone thinks that's great because it's like they'll say it's like real life. Well, <laughs> I've never used a pen. This is a pencil. Okay, this is, I'm using a pencil. I've never used a pencil where you just press down and it goes really thick. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever used one of them. It would be like a pencil made out of foam. So yeah, we don't have pencils like that. Um, For the painting aspect of it, uh, yeah, okay. You know, for the painting aspect of it, because that does happen with brushes, sort of. Not the 
this extreme well a watercolor brush isn't yeah like water painting okay But um, pencil, no. Also, uh, another thing, which is um, a little bit up bullshit alley, is with. Uh, Pen or ink, uh, what do you call it? Nibs. So nibs. Because of the, because of these because of these nibs, um, steel nibs and stuff. Bendy steel nibs. There's the idea that oh yeah yeah nibs just you you press and then you get these different. These very lines. Um, well, there are nibs that don't do that either. Like the nibs, I mean, well, some of the nibs do it and they're actually a pain in the ass. Uh, but, you know, like a lot of them don't bend that much. Definitely some of them barely bend at all. So, the idea that that's the natural thing is that is for it to bend so much, I dispute it. And actually, in actual fact, the original pen, the feather, if you've ever drawn with a, with a quill, if you ever made a quill and drawn with it, I've got some goose quills. Which are really nice quills from geese who were, who were kind enough to send me some quills of theirs. I met them online and they said, hey, send me quills and stuff. They're on Twitter and they uh, charged me. Probably too much to be honest. Just greedy geese. Merchant pigs. But anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, what was I saying? Basically, our old friend, the goose feathers. So that's this is like a traditional pen, actually. The original pen. Yeah, doesn't bend that much. Gives you a pretty, gives you a pretty stock line, standard line. So, took a long time to spit all that out because I was concentrating on not completely messing this one up after the mauling. The mauling that we did, we did. I'm blaming everyone who's involved. Everyone's being blamed. Yeah, yeah, if it's too long. It's just a ballerina boy. Um, yeah, so yeah. My, what's my point? My point is like, God damn it, there's so many myths that are just around the world. Like the myth that... No, no, no. Leave me alone now. The myth that... We need to have all these line, all these varied lines and everything. It's no, we don't. So we don't. It's fine to have lines. That, don't be scared of a line that doesn't. It's not varied, man. Even though it's not the end of the world.
fact, it often bothers me when the lines are too varied. How about that? I'm not saying it can't, it can't look good, but there are times when I'm like, that's, that's too much. I'm, just, I'm not really interested in all your little, this is like the day of the bloody folds. You know, like everyone's got goddamn folds. I'm not interested in your, in your folds. This one's the main bloody shapes, god damn it. Stupid folds everywhere. It's kind of annoying on it. It's kind of annoying on her hair because what's happening is that her, her hair is. Um, the, the discoloring, the discolor of the bloody, whatever, blonde kind of, so, bleh, what am I saying? It's interfering, the hair uh, streaks are interfering actually with the shadow tone that I wanted for that plane where the head's gone down. Now this doesn't make sense what I'm saying, but I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Go to hell. That's it. You're just better off leaving it off sometimes. What's happening is there's there's So even with her feet, you see it's like her skin is like it's not it's too subtle to do, I think. It's just too subtle. Boy in the bar. You think I'm gonna guru trade that balloon? No way. Um, yeah, line. I think I got that's what I wanted from that. enough I don't know what we'll do yeah. the lighting this day I think it's a little bit um, it's not really it's also the pitch is a bit underexposed I think some hard, harder lighting would have helped a little bit but it doesn't really matter because um, we're not here to do shading we're here to do shapes oops so this is a fox up shape 